What's going on? Oh, that's the old intro. Hope you're doing good. Mike, back with another video. Back here to talk about iOS 18 public or well, developer beta 4 re release or iOS 18 beta 4.5 for short. And this definitely came as a surprise. Apple seems like they are having fun throwing us through loops this time around with the beta software updates. But nonetheless, I'm here to cover it for you guys. And we have some pretty interesting ideas as to what this update is covering. Now, as you guys see in the thumbnail, a little disappointed because if we come into general and about, we click on software version, you will see that we have bumped back further to a K build. So we went from I to J to K. We keep going down the alphabet instead of coming back up the alphabet in terms of how stable the software has really been getting. And it seems like we're still, we're actually further away than what we previously thought. Now, of course, they like to try to keep the developer and the public betas in line. And so maybe that's also part of it that the public beta maybe is a little further behind than the, than the developer beta. But nonetheless, to see it go back another letter, le letter yeah, means that there's still some work to do on Apple's end for the software. And one of the things I definitely could say what still needs help is the customization. Because if I hit edit here and hit customize, as you guys can see, if I decide to switch back to automatic, everything flips. But once I switch it to dark, you see how it automatically tints the background. That's not what I want. I want this to maintain what it looks like. And I also want my two icons up here to also flip in the large icon format. And what we're seeing is this, the customization is still a bit bugged out. And to show you that, here's proof. If I go ahead and switch to small, see how everything switches, see? So it's like, I'm very tempted to still stay here because I like the fact that all my apps our dark mode that they can be that Apple's machine learning has learned but we see that the customization is still bugged out and that may be partly why we keep bumping back in a K build as well as the fact that we still don't have Apple intelligence or Siri 2.0 those things are still not here still not ready so that might be what's holding up the stable release of iOS 18 as a whole control center also still has a bug of its own and if we hit add control and scroll down here you guys will see a weird bugged out settings control module that we still don't 100% know exactly what this is. It has something to do with Bluetooth, but this has not been addressed in this re-release update. And it's a little surprising concerning that it is there. So it's probably just as simple as an icon, but maybe the functionality also isn't working. So there's just not addressing it right now until they can completely fix it. So there's some things that we've noticed that have not been fixed or the reason why the build continues to go down in quality, so to speak. A few things that we think that this update address was phone call quality. I know I've noticed whenever I take phone calls and I'm in here trying to deal with phone calls, you don't have to worry about none of them numbers. <laughs> Ending the call is weird because it will still kind of delay. Even though it may have ended the call, the actual call screen delays to close out before returning back to the home screen. So I've noticed that and the call quality in and of itself should be improved post update for this re-release. I believe what also has been adjusted is the brightness slider. So sometimes when swiping into your home screen from lock screen, the brightness will get finicky and will fluctuate drastically in color or in brightness. And maybe it gets too dim. This should have addressed that to some degree as well. And the volume. When listening to music, when doing picture in picture or, you know, basically swapping up on a video and it's still playing on your home screen or, or what have you, that also gets a little finicky. Now, at least you have the volume rockers that can rock that can kind of readjust the, the volume, but that should have been addressed with this as well, or at least we hope so. Now, if we jump into settings and we come in here to wallpapers, there may have been some interesting tidbits here as well in terms of wallpapers being removed. So as you guys can see, the featured features those same ones, it seems like, and then suggested is based off of things such as pictures and photos that you have. Photo Shuffle is still here doing the same thing. You have your astronomy apps. And what's nice about these is these color coordinate better now in terms of the, the font, the clock font with the representative planet. So that's nice to see. You got your kaleidoscope. 
you have your emojis, you have your unique, your unity, you have your pride, and iOS 18. But as you guys notice, we don't have the iOS 15 or 16 or 17 wallpapers. It's straight iOS 18. So I wonder if they're gonna add those back as we stable or as they stabilize the software. It will be interesting to see if they do that because. Previously, they kind of did still leave some of the older wallpapers in there for you to play around with and, and customize, but we see that that's not the case here any further. So we'll see what happens in the future. Now, since it's been about a week or six days since running the original iOS 18 Beta 4, I did want to do a quick follow-up while I'm here in this video to talk about the performance of this build, and I can 100% say with great confidence and statistic, uh, well, st stats <laughs> battery life has improved since running ios 18 beta 4 the first day is always rough but the next day it's like nothing happened battery starts to maintain as you guys see i'm a little low because i didn't charge it last night but battery life has been solid since running ios 18 beta 4 and i'm very very happy about that because beta 2 and beta 3 was a little was a little ugh, not that great in terms of battery life but it's good to see that it has improved there in terms of performance, I think performance has improved as well. Things feel a lot more smooth, especially when scrolling through things. So if I go into Apple News, and I want to do a little bit of scrolling here. And once it loads, this is so much more smooth in here as well. I like that. It seems like I've been getting more timely notifications as well in terms of certain apps or like if I have any deliveries. That also seems to be working very well and, and has been much improved. And... Being able to still use a universal clipboard has not been broken between my iPhone and my MacBook Pro, but I will say sending screenshots between the two or airdropping content between the two have been a little bit more difficult, and it's really been more so from the Mac to my iPhone as opposed to my iPhone to the Mac. The Mac, for whatever reason, when you try to send a screenshot and airdrop it, it does not properly drop the photo that I'm trying to send. It sends like i don't even know what it tries to send so what i have to do is actually take the screenshot and save it as, as a note in apple notes and then turn around on my iphone and get the photo or get whatever it is that i'm trying to do because there's something broke between mac os sequoia beta 2 and ios 18 beta 4 on the iphone so hopefully that gets addressed because i definitely take advantage of air dropping since i use my phone and my mac in tandem to do and run youtube and i hope that that stuff gets fixed going forward here with these software updates but overall the performance and battery life has been good with ios 18 beta 4 and i expect that to continue here with ios 4.5 or ios 18 uh, beta 4.5 i expect that to continue as well and I'll have a follow-up next week because next week should be the public beta release and not the developer beta. So I can't have an official follow-up as to what's been going down with iOS 18 beta 4 re-release or 4.5 for you guys in the very near future. So hopefully you guys appreciated this surprise video on the weekend. And maybe I'll try to do this a little bit more often for you guys because it is kind of fun to be able to do things for the moment. Especially when you just kind of, you out in the town enjoying life and then all of a sudden you're like, wait, Apple dropped an update yesterday? What is happening here? So had to hurry up, get this to you guys. Hope you guys continue to enjoy your weekend. And let me know down in the comment section below, are you guys running the beta software? If not, what are you looking forward to with iOS 18? But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you like the like button, subscribe to the channel, do notification bell, saw free thousand videos, so you and I can sit by check, see what's cracking. And don't forget to hit that super thanks button on the button, like and dislike button, cash up at PayPal, and check the channel out for all the videos available to you. That's the way to keep tech fresh and alive on this channel. Jermaine Mike is signing out until the next video. Wait for it.